Oh, welcome back to our dog kennel or store project. When you go into a pet store, you see a number of do dogs and each one of them, maybe they're in a group room, but maybe they're in um, an individual room um, or maybe they're doubled up. We're gonna assume that they're each in individual rooms um, for the night. While they might play together during the day, they're put in individual rooms during the night. And so we wanna, easiest way to set up these individual rooms in a program would be to use an array. But instead of an array of strings or numbers that we've used in the past, we're gonna do an array of, cl of classes. And these classes, of course, are dogs that we've made. So the first thing that we're going to have to do then is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and comment out this section of code in our runner that we've already used working with a single dog and you can do comment out multi lines of code using single or double quotes I've used single quotes in this case and notice that there are three of them instead of just two so in this exercise then we're going to create um, an array called dog pens and we're going to make it blank and then we're going to create a list of dogs. So we'll say um, pet1 is equal to dog. And we'll go, go ahead and use our previous dog spot for this exercise. And now let's add a couple of other dogs. So we're going to um, pet2 is equal to dog. And then we're going to name this dog Sam. And he's a shepherd. And he's 115 pounds. And then we'll have pet three. And we'll create another dog. And her name, let's do Kate. And she's a pug. And we'll make her four pounds. And then we'll do, now what we need to do is add each dog to our list. And if you remember back when we were working at lists, we're going to use the append method. So we'll say dog pen dot append. And we'll up We'll add spot first, and then we'll do dog pen dot append, and then we'll add Sam, which is represent he's represented by the variable pet two, and then we'll do dog pen dot append, and we're going to do pet three. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and let's print out the dog pen to see who's in each spot. So we're gonna say print dog pen, which is our array. Let's go ahead and run this. Now notice here that what we get is um, a dog object and you see all these numbers and letters here. And what this is, is this is, of course, the memory address of where the dog object is actually stored in the computer. So that doesn't really give us the name of which pets we have in the pen. So what we really need to do is when we're printing out the pen, we need to get the name of each dog in the, um, in the dog pen and print that out. So we can use a for loop to do that. So we can, one of our for each loops that we learned in the last project. So we can say for dog in dog pen. Colon. We want to print, but we want the, um, we want the dog's name. So what we're going to have to do is get the name from the dog and we can use the assessor method to do this. So we can say dog.getName 
and then we'll need to put that in a variable called name. So I'll just make a variable called name and this, then assign that method call to the variable name. And then now we just want to print the name. Now this is going to give us a list of names. See there, Spot, Sam, and Kate. But it doesn't, it kind of shows us the order of where they are in the pen. But if we wanted to actually frame, maybe frame that in a list, what we could do is um, add it to, um, add the names to a temporary array and then print out that array. So what we're going to do then is um, once we get the name, we're going to set up a temp array. Let's just say names array. So names is equal to, uh, and we could, let's do dog names. So now we have a blank dog name array. And let's go ahead and add the name to the dog name array. So we'll say dog names dot and name. So now we're getting the name of each dog from the dog pen and we're appending it to our dog names array. And then we're not going to print each name as we go through the list, but after we're done going through, then we'll go ahead and print our dog names. array like we did learn to do when we were working with arrays. So let's go ahead and run this and make sure it works the way we want it to. And there we go. And now we have um, an array of the names of the dogs and you can see basically that they're in pens 0, 1, and 2. So you could um, use this to set up an interaction between um, a pet owner who comes into the pet store to buy a dog um, who might be there already in the pet store or maybe this is a doggy daycare where the owner is dropping off their dog and they need to register the dog and um, store them there. So um, think about what you might want to do to add to this basic example of using classes and working with some of the attributes of those classes. See you next time.